Um, Mr. McEwen, can I ask you some questions since you gave public comments this evening? Um, I believe at public hearings, uh, so if I could ask you to take the microphone. Um, um, so you invoked the Chamber of Commerce uh, this evening, so I presume you're also representing the Chamber this evening? That's correct. Okay. And you're also the president of, you're a contractor, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, do you yourself, uh, are you a union shop? Do you hire uh, union labor? We hire union labor. I'm a, I'm a non-union commercial general contractor. Okay. We hire the uh, union firm when it's the right job. Okay. And we hire a non-union one it's, when it's a smaller job. Okay. So what we heard from testimony this evening from so many people is how better the quality is, how important it is to have local hires, how important it is to our local economy that those local hires can spend money locally, uh, helmets to hard hats. Uh, you yourself advocated that. Um, so why wouldn't you yourself use the same um, union labor that we are hearing is so important in these projects? Well, look here, buddy. I spent 18 years with a union shop. I put a lot of union people to work. Labor, we were assigned to laborers, carpenters, and cement masons. So we were in the concrete tilt-up business. Um, we got to a point where we were the only union shop. So that's when I started my own firm, and we were non-union. We were non-union so we could build the right project for the right customer. But when you're doing the type of project which you're talking about before you today, it would be built with union people because of the size of the project, the technology of the project, the training that the carpenters' union has. My last company, I bid and we got and we built the laborers' training hall in Azusa. So I'm not sure what you're trying to ask and what you're after. So get to the point. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah. Um, hey, go ahead and cheer on the non-union employer, guys. That's a good job. Um, 